Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another hot behind the scenes. Today, we have somebody straight from the city of Richmond, Northern California, right here in our own backyard. His name is I Am Sue. Put your hands together for him. Welcome, sir. How are you today? I'm chilling, bro. Man, first of all, I want to say thank you for taking time to come out here and, and spend some time with us. Uh, you have an amazing show, I Am Summer yeah. Tour, going on tonight at Ace yep. of Spades. Yep. Just your background, the name uh, Sue. Where did where did I Am Sue come from? That's my government name. My name is Sue Dan. Yeah, it means black. Okay, so how did you yeah. get the, why did you decide to put the I Am on the Sue? Twitter. Okay. Is it to so to pull your name up to make you more searchable? Yeah, couldn't nobody find when I was sued it was everything else. Okay. But I, my Twitter name just became my rap name. I had a, a shout out to DJ Slowpoke. He basically like gave me my rap name. He was calling me my Twitter name on my mixtape that he hosted and it that became my rap name. Very nice. All right. So the I Am Summer tour, you actually kicking it off here in Sacramento. Yes, sir. All right, man. Is there any special guests we can expect? Yeah, I mean, I got people on the bill. I got Marty Grimes, I got Showbang, I got Skip on the bill. I got um just some cool local people and myself nice i got a chance to listen to the album and i think it's great man i think you it is it's nice i listened to the album i listened to it twice without even realizing that it started over yeah that 06 again. solar that 06 yeah. solar man 06 make sure y'all check that out if y'all ain't checked it out yet i see the i am summer shirt right there bro it's handy but yeah 06 solar is out right now man everybody make sure they grab that man. so tell us about the 06 solar it's a toyota for y'all yeah so um i bought a car like in 2010 uh, my mom told me I had to make uh, X amount of dollars was like ten thousand dollars in like four days. So then I just ran it up and bought that car because I didn't have a car. She was taking me to Bart to go to school. Um, every day I'll go to Richmond Bart to go to Cal State East Bay, and then she just had enough. Told me I need to buy a car. You made ten racks in four days off of Twitter. Yeah. What? That's selling, amazing. Selling beats. I was like beats every day. <laughs> beats, beats, beats. I got beats, and I'm just blowing everybody's phone up and did like. So hella beats, hella verses, and like did like two or three shows. Okay, very nice. So is that that? I'm assuming this is before the whole time the HBK. No, nah, this started. is right in the middle of it. Right it's in the 2010. Middle? I got um, I got a check from Up Love Rans Up, but I blew that whole check. Yeah. I got like ten thousand dollars from that beat selling that beat. Then I blew that whole check, and then I had to run it up instantly. So you, you were a producer. Yeah. And an artist. Yes, sir. Now that's very rare. Like, there's very few that can actually do both and do it well. And it, and Thank it's hard you. to Thank be you. like, "Yo, Sue is a rapper," but no, he's a producer. Like, you do. I think you do both equally. Just Thank as great. you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, for I sure, appreciate man. That, yeah. So, would 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 you? I can ask moms. Like, was you young, beating on pots and pans and getting that stuff going? Look, she said, "Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's dope, man." So, what is your inspiration for doing music? Uh, people like Snoop, uh, Lil Wayne, Kanye West, uh, Pharrell. I got in the Bay Area music like with the pack. You feel me? Like the team and people like that. And then that's when I got on Mac Dre. Like after Mac Dre died, like I was like a sophomore or a junior in high school, and like my bro put me up on him. Shout out to Nate. So I think that the whole HBK when y'all came out, y'all just. Bang! It's like y'all came out of nowhere and was like instant superstars. And and I caught on to the name HBK. I'm an old boy. Like H, when I first heard HBK, I was like, Heartbreak Kid is uh, the wrestler. Is is got a group of people now? And like it was. I remember it was you, you know you Kalani Skipper, uh uh Cool John, my boy Oops was uh you know talking about but HBK I, I and tell all that. you I tell you it took us hella long I feel like we had been at it for hella long performing at parties in Richmond and all over the bay and Sac was always one of the cities that showed us love like from the beginning like my first show that was outside my city I think my first show I ever got paid for like um JR booked a show at like Sac State we made like 600 bucks we pushed up there. It was so juiced. You know what I mean? So Sack always been like a second home and showing us a lot of love. Pray for you, man. We we thank you for sliding out here now. Since yeah, you, you've been doing a lot of performing, have you ever yeah. had any show mishaps? Uh, no. Nah, just one one time in San Jose, I fell off the stage and broke the entire sound system, and they had to end the show early. <laughs> that was it. That was the worst one. You haven't heard. Because, you know, we see people like Slim Jimmy from Ray Schremer. Oh, uh, yeah. Nah, bouncing, nah. cut his whole knee Yeah, open. nothing that bad. I cut my leg in Austin. Okay. It was nothing that bad. I didn't have to get no shots or no stitches or nothing. Perfect, man. And how long is the tour? It's like four shows. And I usually do a show in the Bay Area, but I'm performing at Rolling Loud this year. So, 
you know what I'm saying? If y'all enjoy this show tonight, make sure y'all come to Rolling Loud. That's in September. And then after that, I'm going to Guam. I'm doing some shows out Yeah, overseas too. Yeah, I heard yeah, that, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, so, God is good. Um, what is your favorite record off of the album? Young Boy, hands down. It's my favorite. I played that like 2,500 times. So when you make a record, do you listen to it a hundred million times yes. before? <laughs> yes, be yes. like, yo, man, this is the record. Yes. This is the yeah. record. I mean, every single song pretty much, but that one I played, that one the most out of any song I ever made. I've been playing that like crazy. Like once I get into playing it, I'll play it like 15 times. Like. And it's, for me, I listen to your album. Like I was saying, like you can literally listen to it. This is one of the albums that you can just press play. And yeah. let the whole joint just rock. Like I think sonically, you put together a real good project. Uh, thank and, you, bro. And it's, thank it's, you. it's wonderful. And for me, I know we were talking a little earlier, and you said, you know, you you made something that people can sing along to. For me, right. that record is post up. You got Skipper on oh, yeah, the Skipper record. Skipper and Showbang. I just Showbanger. dropped that video like three days ago. Make sure y'all go watch that uh, post up video. Amazing record. And and I tell you, when I was listening to it, it gave me like, la, na, na. and I'm like, it gave me melodies of like Tupac. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm big Tupac fan. And I, and I think you got like the essence of a lot of great artists that I like listening to. So thank you, good bro. job, man. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Thank awesome, you. man. Also, and you know, we got a couple of people here in the building. I want to make sure that you guys get a chance to ask any questions that you Holla have. Holla at me, bro. Don't be scared, bro. You ask my me man. anything. Yes, sir. So one of my favorite songs from you is with Wiz uh, 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 going up. Yeah. I just want to know if you and him are going to collab on like any more records. We got like probably 15 songs that we ain't never put out. So like he put an album, a song out on his last album called Gin and Drugs. I was on that song. That was supposed to be Problem Song, but I don't know what the, you know what I mean? But we probably got like 15 songs. It's going to be one on Problem's new project. And then, yeah, we got a lot of music. So, But it's just the music industry process. We record so much music and I got so many songs that's out with people. I don't be knowing when it's going to come out, like to be real, but we got a lot of music though. Anybody else? Yes, sir. How do you balance your entertainment career and your personal life? Man, bro. Um, man, you gotta pray a lot. <laughs> you gotta pray a lot. I be going through it at times. Cause I'm so hands on with everything. And then like when fans hit me up, especially when they be like, you fell off or I missed this, I want this, this shit suck this this i'm like damn like i bust my ass i don't be sleeping sometimes making my albums or doing shows or planning my videos or everything i put my whole heart into it so you just gotta have a, a type of tough skin to where it's like this is my job but when i want to go home and, and watch weird videos on youtube on my playstation this is me and then i could cut my phone off i could look at you know i don't know if y'all see my twitter but i like baby animals a lot i like marine animals i like to look at that stuff like that and that's when i'm just being myself you know what i'm saying so it's just like find i would say find something that you hella like outside of music like you feel me for me it's like i like wings and i like animals and i like you know what i'm saying i like jordans and just stuff like that so it keep me interested do you have people who like when they fell in love with the record up, they yeah. be like, "Yo, that's that's the only suit that I want to listen to." Uh, with that one, that was I was hell bent to prove that I'm an artist. Like that song, I was never finna get pigeonholed. Even if I had to start doing poetry or something, I just want to show that I was lyrical. I had a story, you know what I mean. But um, up put me through a lot of emotions. Like my family is hella smart, teachers, all that stuff. I felt like an ex stripper. Like when I made that song, I felt like I felt like a stripper that went to the church after that. Hey, and, and I tell you, one of my favorite records by far, hands down, is Famous. Classic. Any anywhere I play, my name Famous. So of course, hey, it was if putting I'm, you on. Yeah, so. if I'm DJing, I'm playing the song and I'm hitting the drop. Famous, you know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. So I, I like that record. And and even like I uh, made. Hey, sorry to cut you off, but I recorded that song in Sac, right across the street from uh, the venue. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the labs. I made that song in Sac. June made the beat. You know what I'm saying? So Sac, the reason I even made that song. Well, we appreciate that's a good record right there. Uh, also, a, a record like Hipster Girl. And stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, that sir. that was like hella different. I'm like, I didn't even expect that. I'm like, yo, I re that's 
that's a banger to me too like it didn't really i didn't really hear a bunch of people making buzz about that but that record hipster girl is super dope to me and i feel like it, it like described the era like from 2010 to like 2014 15 like all the ladies that i was seeing and encountering and i think it just set a tone and described the era a lot hey y'all make some noise again for my guy i am so he got the i am summer tour kicking off tonight at ace of spades yes sir just to see a soup concert, eyes 